Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and I think, even though we're on a streak and I'm liking the streak, I think I want to go in and do some tainted lost greed mode attempts. Definitely a, a risky one, I realise. I mean, not certainly not something that's going to be an easy feat, but I feel like it's one of those things that, I mean, I love playing tainted lost anyways, but it's one of those things that I want to try and get out of the way, uh, just because I remember this being a pain. So, yeah, I just thought, why not? Let's give it a go. As for the question of the day today, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Um, hmm. What's the next birthday that you have coming up, whether it be yours or a family member's, and what's your plans for it? That'd be interesting to know. That would be intriguing to know. We've got Curse the Magician here, which I'm really hoping isn't giving enemies homing, because if it is, we are going to die a very swift, 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 swift death. But we will uh, we'll figure that out as it comes. We'll figure that out as it comes. But yeah, for me, it's uh, it's my dad's birthday coming up pretty soon. Um, and my dad's one of those... I mean, I think this is typical... Okay, they do have homing. Great. I think this is typical of a lot of dads. He just doesn't really, like, care that much about like Christmas, birthdays, Father's Day. He's just like, eh, get me whatever, I don't really care. Uh, and so we've kind of worked out a deal that uh, whenever it's one of those days, or even we can bunch them up at once and just go to this one uh, like grill house that's near me called um, Red's Barbecue. And oh my God, it's just amazing. I I've spoken about it on my episodes quite a while ago before. Basically we went before and you can get this thing called the bin lid and it is literally like a, a metal bin lid upturned and filled with meat um oh my god it's so much food so much food there's ribs there's chicken there's pulled pork um there's there's brisket there's burnt ends there's all oh god it's just so much amazing absolutely amazing stuff and he's like yeah just take me there every time every time don't don't do anything else don't buy me any other gifts don't do anything else which take me there Buy, buy me a meal there every single time. That's all I'll ask for. And I'm like, yeah, do you know what? I can 100% get behind that idea. So that, that's just been what we've, what we've done for the longest time now. Uh, well, I say the longest time. It's only been about eh, like a year and a half, two years we've been doing this idea. Uh, but that's going to be what we do again. The great thing is I obviously thoroughly enjoy going as well. Uh, it must just be a random chance for herming shots because we're not getting herming here. Um... But yeah, like, obviously I get to go as well, so it's like, yeah, it's ace for me and ace for my dad, so definitely looking forward to that. Yeah, a little worried, I was just about to say, I'm a little worried that guy's gonna, do you know what, that was so, oh my god. I got absolutely wham bam, thank you man, there. Holy hell. <laughs> I was so worried, like, cautious that the haunt was gonna end up brimstoning me while I was, like, down below off screen. E even though that's not really that big of an issue anymore, um... For the pure reason that now, just give it a go. Um, for the pure reason that now, um, like that's not that big of an issue, just simply because, you know what? I completely forgot what I was gonna say. I got so deep into my thought that I've completely forgotten it. Oh, the, 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 now we've got the visible lasers thing. But I'm so used to not having that from playing before that mod existed that I'm still like, oh no, he's off screen. He's gonna brimstone me. But actually, that's not very common anymore because we can see the laser coming so yeah not very likely but it's still like that deep ingrained fear of playing the binding of isaac of just thinking oh no there's an enemy that can fire a laser off screen it's gonna get me even though i can see the boss's position off screen and if they fire a laser it gives me an indicator of where that laser's coming from it's like yeah i need to chill out <laughs> i need to chill out You. Quit. Okay, take you out as well, big boy. And you as well. But yeah, this is this is a pretty good item to get to, uh, to start with. As long as the GMO corn doesn't completely screw you and give you really bad pills, I actually think it's a pretty good item. It's just a little, it's got a bit of risk to it is all. Now this time let's go to the item room before we do the boss. Because I, I made that mistake last time and it was a little bit silly. A wee bit silly. Um, as for items in here, I don't think there's anything I actually want to buy. Which is a real shame. Little chub. 
It's obviously not great, but it's not terrible either. It can do some good damage. The, the only caveat I will say actually about it is it's less effective in larger rooms because it has to obviously reach and hit the wall, which means that unfortunately in uh, greed mode it's not that amazing because of that, because it's going to have to trips its way all the way to the side of the room. Now we do have two of this same boss here, which actually isn't so bad now that one of them's dead, but when there was two of them on the field, I was a little worried. Okay, I'm trying to get my, my chubby boy to hit when he can, but it's not always plausible. I want to try and get him locked into this little gap here, but it's a little hard to do. But this guy has four or five dashes, as we just saw there. Certainly ups his level of difficulty quite a little bit. Quite a little bit. Okay, we're all good on that front. And like I said, I don't want to buy any items on this floor, so I think we're just going to go for this. Unfortunately, this is kind of a rough... Um, kind of a rough fight, I'll be honest. Because... Uh, these enemies can both spread ash and when they join up, their powers are joined together. This means there could be a lot of fire on screen for us. Um, potentially. So, I guess the, the main methodology right now is focus one boss down really hard. But you're dead. Good, good. Okay, and then once one's done, we can start to focus on the other. Do you know what? Standing in front of him like this is such a good idea because when he spawns that little bastard, I can just kill him straight away. Before he starts igniting things because, yeah, they, they join up together and do some work and I don't like that. I'd rather you didn't, my guy. There you go. Nice one. And Devil Deal, of course, we can go to Devil Deal as this uh, fella. Ooh, this is a rough choice, this. Um, this is a really hard choice. Um, prank cookie, it can be good, but it's not, I don't know, I think we're better off with Lusty Blood here, because that's double damage for the entire floor. That was, that was a hard choice though. All of those items had real merit to them. Pentagram more so for the greed fight itself. And unfortunately, corn kernel. Not very good. Two corn based items, what are the chances? What are the chances? Ooh, Sprinkler will definitely take. Um, deck of cards? Starter deck, sorry, should I say? Eh. I mean, obviously you knew what I was hoping for there. Um, we'll buy one more key before we uh, use two of spades here. Actually, there you go. Perfect. Now we don't need to buy keys again. That kind of worked out nicely. Uh, that's pretty good. I'll take that. And yeah, Sprinkler's just good because lots of extra damage potentially. Um... Stacks up over the rounds and get anywhere to charge it even faster, even better. Uh, but we'll just rack up as many of these as we can. We're already at our double damage value now, so that is very, very, very nice. We get another one down here. There you go. I think you can get three down comfortably each, each way. I think you can get a total of four down if you do the boss wave as well. But we don't need to do all four. And you can see it's already taken care of enemies. One problem... I do foresee, is it killing enemies that, like, leave stuff on the ground, or, well, I say on the ground, we can fly, but, like, leave tears, and I don't see that happen, and then the tears hit me because I'm not paying attention sort of thing. So it could be a champion that does, like, a cross-hatch attack. You know what I mean? Yeah, here we go. Okay, the, these guys leave ghosties behind. Be careful of the ghosties. But, yeah, you can see that this is, this is some real power we've got going on here. Ooh. Getting the, uh, the tomato effects on these guys is very, very lucrative. I like that. Beautiful. Honestly, while we've got these guys um, here and ready, and actually, to, to be honest, while we've got gaps as well, this is this is a pretty amazing setup for this boss, I'll be honest. There you go. Easy does it. We get our devil deal right off the bat here, and we get Guppy's Eye. I mean... Like, apart from it being a guppy item, I'm going to say that's pretty worthless, but eh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, lump of coal, I'll take. Bell clapper would have been decent. Um, I think we're good to go. I think we are good to go. Might have been good. good eh. Plus three range. Our range isn't that bad. I'm not going to bother spending the extra five on that. It's, it's, I think it's probably worth it, but eh, I'm okay. And yeah, lump of coal. I think it's actually pretty damn good for this, especially with uh, our sprinklers firing across the whole room. Right. Dice room there, hello. 
and we get ourselves oh parasite gotta love it and wooden spoon actually pretty happy with the speed upgrade here of course i'm not going to know what's going on in here uh but we do have a seven cent item which we'll take Ooh, this is really good champions have a, a 35 percent chance to drop stuff which actually works on greed mode so it means that uh, you see that look champion just drops a bag also they can drop like anything they can drop all sorts of stuff but yeah um that, that, that's really good for us really really good for us We can actually get drops from champions now, and obviously in greedier mode, champions are very numerous. The amount of them that get spread across the... But yeah, look at this. It's great. What's going on? Ooh, boy, a holy card. We've already got a holy, uh, a holy thing going on here, but getting a spare ain't bad at all. Ain't bad at all. Oh, goddamn. Need to remember that I've got to be very, very cautious about getting hit here. Really can't be getting hit too much. It's easy to forget sort of the challenge that you're doing. Tell you what. Oh, balls sake. I was just about to say, I do not like this situation down here. Also, a lump of coal has made my tears very hard to see on this stage, which I'm not particularly liking. Unfortunately, that's a holy card spent already. Don't like that, but... We do have starter decks, so we've got a slightly higher chance for holy cards overall. We also got perfection here, which I definitely completely forgot was uh, something you get in greed mode. Obviously not displeased with it, but was confused nonetheless. Now you are just sitting on top of the sprinkler, my good sir. I'm not sure what you're about to do, but don't want you to do it. Oh god. The kidney boy. Now, my tears are red, and I don't know where the reds come from, but I'm happy with it. Okay. Good stuff. Check out the devil deal. Just gotta grab a random one. Ah, oh, bugger. Brimstone bombs, and I could have had a Thame. Now that, I feel cheated on. I really feel cheated there. Now, let's just take the chance and buy the uh, low-cost item. Didn't really pay out, I'll be honest. It's pretty piss poor, to be honest. We can buy one more if we do this. Oh, for fuck. Come on now. Isn't auction gavel pretty darn good? Spawns an item from the room's pool for sale. Its price will change roughly five times a second. The price is random, but generally increases over time. Okay. Nah. Sadly, that was a lot of wasted money there. I was hoping for at least more than one passive. Um, but, eh, hey her. And yeah, I'm really, really sort of upset there that we didn't get a theme, because we have perfection, which would make a theme insane. It'd be so good. Uh, ooh, Pinhead's really good for us here, though. And Arrow Light's not bad either. Um, yeah, let's just continue on. Yeah, I'm really happy with Pinhead here, because Piercing's really good. I think Pinhead plus Parasite's real good, if I remember correctly, actually. I mean, anything plus Parasite is pretty darn good, but I think Pinhead's one of the ones that's, like, really good with it. Because it means that, like, stitching enemies together is a lot easier. My goodness, I do not like these enemies. Oh, what the hell? I got hit by something and I don't know what. Do you know, it really, it really doesn't help that everything's red right now. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, that felt a bit mean. <laughs> All right, then. I just walk up and it's just like, all of a sudden, hey, by the way, you are fucked. That felt a bit cheeky, game. I'll give you it this time, but that felt a bit cheeky. Now, unfortunately, this uses my holy mantle, so I'll have to see if I get a new one back. Okay, I get two back. Okay, I get, I get three back. Nice. Uh, what we got here? Spawns, four bombs worth of pickups. We got spawns three bombs. Three of clubs. We got one to twelve random coins. Wait, what did that say? They can be nickels or dimes. Okay. Not bad. We got fool, temperance, three random coins. Wait, what? I, apparently I picked up the fool. I didn't realise I picked up the fool there. I thought I had that one. Nice. And then we got extra holy card. So this this was this was a pretty good start. <laughs> pretty pretty good start. Also we can get car battery as well, which uh, I I most certainly do want. 
Come on now. Please don't have all of these be duds. Okay, good. Cow battery is certainly something I want. Ooh, hello. 20% chance of burn charge on room clear or wave clear. We also want that too. That, that's going to make for some spicy content. But it, oh, baby. I was just about to say, if we get a good active, that's going to make for some spicy content. And the game just gives us a good active straight away. Okay. This is good stuff. With with that, I mean, car battery already makes this good. With that other active, that 20% chance for each wave to give us an extra charge, we could be getting even more uses out there. This could be really good. And we've got extra holy cards on this floor to keep us safe as well. This is the start of something potentially beautiful. I'm loving this. What a crazy start. If you ever see booster pack, goddamn take it. Just a shame we can't hold more cards right now. That'd be ideal. It just produces so many spiders on use. So many spiders on use. I'm glad that that item says on wave clear and room clear. Because I fully would have believed that it wouldn't work on um, wave clear. I would have thought that it only worked on room clear. And it didn't work on greed mode. Which would have been upsetting. But luckily it was thought of. Oh god. These enemies, for some reason, I'm really bad at not getting hit by them. Get back in here again. Definitely grab this. See, we got this again, though. I don't think there's any way I could possibly afford that, but I would love to grab that. And we got the extra charge there as well. You see that? We got uh, a charge of our active straight away. And again. Oh, my God. This is going well. Now, I wonder what will be in store for us at our Devil Deal. And again, dude. Okay. This is popping off right now. Now, I, I have to say what isn't popping off right now is this arrangement of enemies. Because even though I have spare holy cards out in the other room, I probably should have brought them into this room just in case. Didn't think about that possibility. It was a very foolish mistake of mine, but we should be okay. Okay, you're still, you're still kicking it. That's, that's the scary bit. Don't like you still kicking it, my guy. Okay, we're good. Devil deal. Oh, there it is. It it took us away, but gave, gave us it back. Now, I very, very much want this. So, I'm going to be blowing things up to try and get it. Oh, for God's sake. Why? Okay, good. I just think it's so potentially amazing on greed mode that you have to grab it. Like, it has such high potential. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything else we can do with the other stuff that we have here. Um, technically, actually, I could go to the cash room. Let's uh, let's give that a go. Nope, I'm already too scared. <laughs> already too scared. I didn't know what was going on in there. Didn't want to figure it out. Right. We go, we go, we go. Gives a hug as well. Why not, you cutie? Okay, this run somehow is better than the first one. Pretty happy with that. Curse of Poverty. I don't like the idea of that. Oh, really? Um, a lot of pills. I'm drowsy. We can take one of them in with us. Range up. I'll take two experimental pills. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, range up. Balls of steel. I pushed that one under, under the fire. I no longer care about it. Um... And then this, I'm going to go in here real quick. Go drop that. Oh, no, don't drop it in the doorway, you doofus. Drop that there. Grab the I'm drowsy. And then start this out. That was close. I let that guy spawn on me there. Being a, now we've got I'm drowsy for the entirety of this, which helps a lot. A theme doing its thing. Extra keys, lovely. I forget how slow it makes you as well. It slows you down a lot. It's not just the enemies. Okay, I don't like you. Oh my good golly gosh, that is a lot of... Thank you, Athame. That was a lot of eyes and I was quite worried. 
Wasn't quite sure what was going to happen, but I was worried. Oh my god. Even with minus one luck, it's still kind of crazy. If we get to if it gets to the point where we get perfection, the actual wave-based combat of greed mode is going to be GG. It's only really going to be the boss that has a hold on us. Okay, good, good. Let me go one of you over here. No double charge, sadly. But our spiders are making their way over. Unfortunately, spiders don't, like, they're not quite as good as flies in terms of pathing to enemies. Still, flies can be pretty bad too, though. We, 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 we know of that. We have to keep this going because we've got a drowsy uh, pill active. I'd rather not waste that. Okay. This is an annoying boss, but we do have a safety net in the fact that we have this gap here. I don't like there being pooters involved. Because that makes things a lot harder for us. But yeah, we essentially just have a get out of jail free card here because... Oh wait, I was just about to say because you can't hurt me there, but yeah, you actually can. So let's let's not fuck around with that. Because remember, you've got a radial shot attack, right? Do not want to find out how that's going to go. Okay, annoying to have these two at once. But I was just about to say a well-placed bomb will alleviate my troubles. But a well-placed of fame will alleviate even more of my troubles. Wow, that was close. Nice. Good, good, good. Um, I guess we want Tower of Cloth, but unfortunately, not very good. Yeah, not, not great for us there, sadly. And we should check out this first. Three dollar bill. Fire mind could be risky, but otherwise I like it. Otherwise, I like it. Um, auction gavel. Interesting, but no. Adjustment. Bunch of bombs. Nice. Um, I'll do a, I'll do a wee bit of re-rolling here to try and get something good. I think that's pretty good. Extra damage. And I think we shall go. Could try and play the battery bomb to get even more battery-based items, but let's not push my luck. Let's not push my luck. Right, down we go. Okay, this should be the floor where we get perfection on our first boss kill, so we'll try and pick that up as soon as we can. Uh, Rocket and a jar is actually okay now that it doesn't suck. It used to suck super hard. Mini Mush I'm pretty happy with too, because the movement speed is lovely. Uh, in terms of what we got going on here, Jar of Air... Jarrah Bear is actually not bad for a class like this. Um, if you have a baby familiar when you die, remove him and revive. Um, sacrifice and revive. He sacrificing familiars will blink periodically when you have one heart left. Destroys itself. Ooh, as a trinket that might be quite good. But then again, at the same time, could potentially be better to just take perfection. By could potentially, I mean definitely will be. Um, I think I'm going to buy the Jar of Air, you know. Right. Again here, luckily we have rocks to keep us somewhat safe. Ooh. Wow. With the, with the well-timed whiz shot there. With the absolutely terribly timed whiz shot. God damn. I was like, eh, I don't, I don't mind having a... I don't mind having $3 bill. Just fire mind we've got to worry about. No, no, no. Incoming rogue double vision at the worst possible timing. Don't take the spicy key. That would be terrible. Apparently an enemy left in here. Oh, it's a hearse. That's why. Ooh, god damn, that, uh, that key is moving around a lot, apparently. I don't really know why, but I don't like that. Right, should, we should get perfection here, right? Although, do you not, do you not count because you're a mini-boss? You don't count because you're a mini-boss. Don't remember what you do. I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite stressed out now that I've lost that, that spare holy mantle I had to something as stupid as that, but here's what it is. 
Sadly, we don't have extra spiders to help us out here. That was a close shot there. I don't remember what else you do in this phase. Okay, you just shoot. Shouldn't be so bad as long as we keep our distance. Beautiful. And there's perfection. That makes a theme way more viable. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Um, I will take the jar of air. And yes, hive mind would be quite good, thank you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no 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 no. Okay, this might be this might be RIP. Um simply because this is a lot of bosses, all of which have herming. We need to keep an incredible amount of distance to make sure we don't die. But that's rather difficult. I'm trying my absolute best here to keep my distance, but I need to be able to actually hit. Okay, I killed one. Now it's the twins left, which I don't think are any easier. Let me be clear. Which shot? Can you can you not with the like timing of, of this, please? Okay. One is down. Now, you do have some new attacks now that you're uh, all span brand spanking new. Ooh, a Thame. A Thame got a good proc there. No, it was so close. It was so close. Okay, that was fucking scary. Oh my god. Also, this is amazing. This item is so good. That was very scary. Um, I think I'm going to blow this up when I leave just to try and get an extra holy card and potentially some more money. Lovely. Um, nah, sadly not. That, the, not having a holy holy card right now is, is pretty GG for us, I think. But we'll try our best. We'll see how far we can get. It can screw us over. I've had it screw us over before, but for the most part, it's good. Great. That was super useful for us. Um... And we'll just pick up that for now. So that's that's why it can be problematic. Oh, dude, that was so close. Because uh, it it can spawn brimstones, and I don't really know why. Why is there a why why is there a kingpin on a normal wave? Who who in their right mind did this evil evil town? Oh my! What the fuck's going on? This item's so broken. I don't even know what to tell you right now. I have absolutely no idea what's happening. Something to do with a negative interaction with a theme, I bet, but hell if I know what. It's definitely to do with the 3D glasses though. They, the way that they are coded is clearly very janky. <laughs> Seems like every time in the theme procs, we fire a bunch of brimstones. I don't know how much I'm complaining, to be honest, because it seems pretty useful for us. I would like it to not lag as much, though. I feel like that's going to get me hurt. That's going to sell me down the river at some point. Mr. Fred. You've triggered my trap card. Oh, I was hoping I had a theme there. That attack scares me. You brimstone as well, don't you, my my, my, my big fat lad? Just get to somewhere near, near where there's rocks and we'll be fine. And you've got Jumper going on as well. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting to see you. What the fuck? It's a new version of Krampus, I think. Lump a coal is nice. Right, we have a lot of money right now. A lot of money. Um, 
Consolation prize. I don't think I want to go for that. Let's let's reroll a little bit here and see if we can get anything good. Upon entering a room, yeah, that won't do anything for us. It does give us 0.9 damage though. Meh, still don't think it's su super worth the money. I think this is good. Ah, it's slight damage down, but overall it's going to be a damage up. Okay, that, that was overall positive. Overall very positive. Again, blow up this before we leave, just to see if we get a holy card. <gasps> no, that'd be so good for us right now. Damn you. Uh, excuse me, don't, don't suck this spicy key towards me, please, game. Very much do not want that. Spicy key, please stop. God damn, I want that so bad. Trying to think of a way. I was just about to say, trying to think of a way if I, that I can get it. I'm glad I did my due diligence there and tried, because now this 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 box is kind of ludicrous. We'll take this as a as a fuck 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 sort of card, and we shall carry on. Pokeball, I think I'm okay, thank you. Bell Clapper, lovely. We've got two bombs, so we might as well do this. Ooh, beds can restore Holy Mantle. Beds can restore Holy Mantle. Okay, so we have we have an out on this floor for if we uh, get screwed over. Good, you're actually a pretty cool chap, so I'll take you. Oh my god, my spiders. My spiders. They're going to be doing so much damage, it's crazy. Um, yeah. We should possibly try and just re-roll for a... Oh, uh, wait. Possibly try and re-roll for just a Holy Mantle. Oh, there you go, it's a birth, right? Grants an extra life. Um, awesome. Okay, we've just got to live till that. And we're golden. And I th honestly, I think now that as long as I stay reasonably safe with my box of spiders and stuff, I should be pretty chill here. There's going to be so many spiders on screen that it should take care of most things. We're going to be doing so much damage. Yeah, that's why I wanted to move there, because I knew he was going to jump and I wasn't quite sure to where. A bit of brimstone right off the bat there. Oh, dude, dude, dude. What the actual fuck was I meant to do there? Okay. Right. So for one, we go in here. We must certainly grab this. That last wave was so fucked. Uh, and then we come in here and we lay in the bed, which restores our holy mantle. Awesome. This is good stuff. This is some good stuff. And then... Converts all rocks, poops in the room um, into pennies. But is there any like way that we can make good use of that? Uh, this is actually probably a decent use of it. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't great, but better than nothing. Um, keep hold of that. And then, yeah. Also, I need to go into my um, MCM options and uh, change it so that while I'm in combat, I don't get uh, visuals for external light descriptions. Because that's kind of been screwing me over recently and it's an easy way to fix it. You can just disable it. Get to okay. Once you land on the spiders, you're kind of screwed. Good, good, good. Ooh, okay, this is... Let's think about this. Is Brimstone what we actually want here? Hmm. Does it disable any of our current synergies? Not really. Yeah, let's just take Brimstone. Uh, 
We got reasonable fire rate with it, not great. That gives us more tier rate anyways, there you go. Oh, and then Squeezy as well, if we could get that. Look for another holy card here. Darn tootin'. Okay, yeah. Definitely keep on hold, hold on to this. Oh lord. <laughs> There's some shenanigans going down. This game is full of shenanigans. Shenaniganery. We've only got two keys left, so might as well pop in here. That allows Isaac to take one shop item for free. I will quickly use that now. Um, give me a champion belt, why not? Okay, dokey, and I'll definitely buy those uh, toothpicks. Unfortunately, this is my first floor where I have no out. There is no uh, rock to sit over. The, just 3D glasses are just absolutely balked. We need some weird stuff with a theme. Like, I might get hit here and there's just no way to know how, by what or how I could have avoided it. It ended, finally. Until it didn't end, right. Get over here. Grab that real quick. Tom Furter would also be another good one. I see the issue. Yeah, we got you as well. Good, good. Don't like anything can go underground and pop up beneath us. That's on my big no-no list. Right. Then we go and grab this bad boy. Easy kill there. And then we'll definitely take that. Backstab would have been pretty good as well, actually. Okay, so... All of that was pretty pretty chill. Now we're on to that, the actual real fight. We don't have a spare holy card either. So there is significant potential issues. There's Eevee just chilling there. And I was just about to say, when I was just about to say, whenever this occurs. It, it causes all sorts of issues for us, because we're just not going to be able to see what's coming in, what's happening. Whenever that happens, we're not in happy land anymore. It's basically whenever we get a random Athame trigger, isn't it? It's sometimes it's weird, sometimes it lasts for a really long time, sometimes it doesn't. Another thing I didn't think about as well is the portals are now sucking him towards us. They're also blocking him from shooting, which I quite like. So it, it's looking like first phase should go okay, but second phase, yeah, it's just a whole, it, he'll die quicker on second phase, but it's a whole different beast. He did try and get a coin there. I think he got one. Okay. We're on to second phase. This is where things start to get a lot more tricky. Careful of the, the laser beams at the start of the fight here. I always forget about those. He doesn't spawn many things, so I think the chance of us going primal or whatever you want to call the craziness that's happened in the past is low. Okay, the jumps, the jumps are pretty bad, because they, they cause the little cracks in the floor, and they are very unpredictable. We got Holy Light for a little bit there, I was like, where did that come from? But we've got $3 bill. Oh my god.
Oh my god, I got hit right at the end there. But oh my god, we actually did it. Can you believe it, people? We actually did it. I'm, f I'm pretty goddamn proud of that. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.